Well, still on the subject of the road, we used to call them mechanics, but now they'd rather be known as automotive technicians. Okay, well, whatever you call them, there's a shortage of them in Hampton Roads. 13's Joe Flanagan explains. Two years ago, Steve Phipps started here at Tysinger Nissan in Hampton as an automotive technician. Well, as you can see in here, there's a lot of empty stalls. Uh, they used to be full. Um, when I started here, there was 16 techs. Ask any auto dealer around Hampton Roads, and they'll tell you finding trained techs like Steve, who attends Thomas Nelson Community College at night, is getting harder and harder. If you're one of the best, you can make a very, very good living. Larry estimates that most car dealers are 15% below their desired number of auto techs. The Hampton Roads Automotive Dealers Association has tried to combat the shortage by establishing scholarships here at Thomas Nelson for up-and-coming students like Steve Phipps. Auto mechanic is no longer an occupation, it's a profession. A profession is something you need a college degree to succeed in. Ken Brumley gets flooded with calls when trained students become available. Now there's more to this automotive technician story than just supply and demand. It could also impact you and I when we bring our cars in for service in the future. And when you do get it fixed, if I've only got 10 technicians and I need 15 today and 15 years from now, I need 30 and I have 15, the prices are going to go up. Students like Steve back at school and back to their future. Joe Flanagan, 13 News. The Hampton Roads Auto Dealers Association tells us there are scholarships available now. Contact Thomas Nelson Community College for more information. It's interesting that many of the jobs in demand right mm -hmm. now do not require a four-year degree. And this is a high-tech field, though. We learned about this at the, uh, the dealer's golf tournament about a week ago at Forest Colony. They said that a skilled mechanic could actually have two jobs, a day job and a night job, both full-time. Does this mean you now know how to change your own time? I'm working on it. <laughs>